Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am super excited to share with you guys my entire Dua fragrances collection. So currently, I have 11 fragrances from the house. I started with only two fragrances last 2020. And for the past couple of months, I have been obsessed and been purchasing fragrances from the house. So now I have 11 fragrances and I still have a lot that I want to try and I want to add to my collection. So I'm gonna start with the five fragrances here in front. These are fragrances from their inspired collection and hybrid collection. So these are ones that are impressions or clones of fragrances from other houses. I'm gonna start with this one right here. This was one of my very first dual fragrances. I had this and Drowning in Cherry Casino, which I decluttered. This one is Cherry Casino. You guys have heard me talk about this fragrance a lot in my videos in my channel. This is a hybrid fragrance, a hybrid of Bakker Rouge 540, the X-Trade version, and Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. This one is really, really good. This is like my go-to cherry fragrance. This is my go-to for a lot of occasions if I want to relax, if I want to feel put together. I wear this a lot. It's a very special fragrance for me. I get the BR540 DNA and also get tons of cherry, so this is more of like a very sweet boozy kind of cherry so next i have this one this is aphrodisiac and i have been also featuring this in a lot of my videos this is their impression of Initio's psychedelic love this one is very very close to psychedelic love i have a sample right here of a couple of samples the dua impression is very very close you guys like if you just blind sniff if you spray both of them on both your arms and you just blind sniff you wouldn't even know the difference but the only thing that i noticed is that psychedelic love dwells longer in the middle part of the scent where it's more floral i get more of the heliotrope and more of the lang so it lingers more in that powdery floral um stage or level of the fragrance while aphrodisiac is centered more on the entrance and dry down of psychedelic love and just bottle that into a separate fragrance and that's aphrodisiac which is a big bonus for me because i love the entrance i love the whole scent of psychedelic love i still want to have a bottle but but, um, I love the entrance and dry down and the whole DNA of that entrance and dry down is already in aphrodisiac. So this one here is 100 Whispers and it is their impression of 100 Silent Ways from the House of Nishani. So that is also another fragrance together with another one here that I'll be mentioning later that I still want to add to my collection. I will probably get a 15ml travel but damn it's so expensive. But anyway this one is really really close. I was lucky enough to sample the original 100 Talent Ways through Emmy, Emmy's World of Fragrance. Um, as you guys can see, I have nothing left. I compared both of them and they are very similar. What I noticed though about these Dua impressions is that they do have that Dua DNA. This is either very woody or plasticky, but it is only when you first use the fragrance as you get your bottle. So as you let your fragrances sit and you know use it, the longer you have it in your collection, it becomes more well blend it it becomes smoother so this one both of them are very similar so if you love 100 silent ways but you are not really ready to shell out the amount that it goes for then i suggest you try 100 whispers and then this one here is Drowning in Vanilla. This was one of the very first, like the earliest fragrances that I really wanted to try. This was highly suggested by Jennifer Latifa, Drowning in Vanilla. And this is the impression of Nishani Ani. Nishani Ani was huge in the fragrance community a couple of years ago. Like I hear a lot about Nishani Ani when I first started my channel. You guys can see I already use a lot in here. So Nishani Ani is like a very spicy vanilla vanilla but um yeah i've always been so intrigued again so, thanks to emmy i was able to sample it and my gosh you guys it is a very beautiful i mean beautiful is an understatement to describe how amazing the scent of nishani ani is and i still want to get you know travel sizes of both nishani fragrances but right now I am very happy with my Dua um, impressions, my Dua fragrances. This one is also very close. But like I mentioned, it does have that Dua DNA to it in the beginning of the scent. But in the dry down, they are very, very similar. And these fragrances, they last super long. They project really well. Like for example, with Aphrodisiac, this one is very long lasting. And I swear, you guys, I'm not really the kind of person that wants, you know, compliments or like is waiting for a compliment. 
moment with my fragrances but every time i wear this at work or wherever i always get compliments all the time this one is longer lasting and it projects more compared to the softer dna of psychedelic love this one still lasts super long too but you know this one aphrodisiac just projects more and that's the same with um drowning in vanilla but i can imagine like for sure that nishani ani is also like a wide projecting fragrance this one is one of the newer additions to my collection it's caramel delight and it is a clone or an impression of Zerjoff's Lyra. Lyra, together with Nishani Ani and Hard to Sell and Waste and all of that, they are the most hyped up fragrances for the past couple of years. And I've been wanting to add Lyra to my collection too, but I wasn't really so sure what to expect with that citrusy, lemony kind of soft vanilla. I was expecting it to be more of like a lemon cookie or something like that. So I was able to sample it. Thanks to Veronica Says, this was one of the many, many samples and decans she gave me. And this is from Lucky Scent, the dabber from Lucky Scent. So this one, you guys, I expected it to be like a very strong kind of vanilla, very similar to how I imagined, you know, Nishani Ani. I expected it to be like that. I don't know why, but it is a very soft citrusy lemony kind of vanilla and it is very close to this one this one has a stronger dua dna that it's more plasticky in the beginning but you know i wasn't really wowed by this when i first sprayed it but you know the longer i had it you guys can see i already put a dent in it too the longer that i had it in my collection you know i would spray every once in a while spray it on my skin it became smoother it's more well blended and yeah i do get it i prefer this one actually than the original lira this one is way softer and it's smoother and it's not really as rough compared to caramel delight caramel delight isn't really rough okay, rough wasn't the word i was looking for it's sharp so this one is a sharper like a louder version of Lyra. You guys want to experience that Lyra kind of scent profile in a more beast mode kind of way. Then we have Caramel Delight. So these are the original blends from the house. And I started with this fragrance right here because of a sample that I got from my first purchase. My first of many, many purchases. This one is vanilla, no, banana and vanilla custard flan. And it smells like how it is named. This is so delicious. And just like with aphrodisiac, I get compliments every time I wear this. Like every single time i keep saying that every single time like these are compliment getters both of these are compliment getters so anyway this one is a very gourmand fragrance it's literal it really smells like banana it's not like the fresh banana but it's more like mashed bananas and then you put that in your flan you know that's how this one smells like so it's not really super sweet because of banana but it's still sweet in a very caramelly not sugary sharp kind of way it's more of like a very smooth sweet kind of a fragrance and you know just imagine how a flan looks like this is how this one smells too so the banana is not really that strong in here so it's more like when you get whiffs of banana bread or banana cake that's how this one how the banana is in this fragrance in terms of the scent profile of how it is when they say it's fluffy but it's also smooth at the same time it's very similar to how you know brazilian crush um 71 is it's fluffy it's airy but it's also very smooth so that's how this fragrance is so it's one of my favorites i use it a lot almost every day and this was the sample that i got when i purchased drowning in vanilla and hundred whispers so i immediately used it up and really had to buy a full bottle this is one of the newest addition to my collection i bought four fragrances so this one is called delectable temptation so I didn't really hear a lot of people talk about this or feature this in their channel. I just, you know, was browsing the Dua Fragrances um, website like I always do like on a regular. And I read the reviews of this one and people loved it so much. But before I talk about it, look at that color. It came like this. That's amazing. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful like amber gold kind of color. So anyway, this one is called Delectable Temptation. And it's supposed to smell like pancakes, maple syrup, and blueberries. And this, yeah, it's yes, it's also very literal. It's the same as vanilla 
banana vanilla custard flan i love saying you know like that i'm wearing this one because it's literally like the people are gonna be like what you're wearing what it's more of a maple syrup kind of fragrance i still get blueberries the blueberries here is very similar to how i got blueberries in that um, what's the name of that fragrance? One Umbrella for Two from Floraiku. So I get the blueberry, but this one is a very fruity, sweet kind of scent. So it's maple syrup. Just imagine, it's not really very sugary sweet when you smell maple syrup. There's something also very, like, not animalic, but also very strong and, like, dense kind of scent. By the way, like the color, yeah, it's maple syrup, not amber gold. It's a maple syrup color. So I also get pancakes in here. It's more like a not burnt but more of like a very brown like like how it is in this photo like in this in this bottle this is a very rich and dense kind of scent um right now during summertime i think it's way too much but you guys know i love very sweet fragrances i don't mind wearing them during summertime but this one i am super excited to try this or wear this during fall and winter because this would be like the perfect fall and winter scent fall scent for sure so yeah delectable temptation if you want to smell like pancakes maple syrup or honey or whatever but it's more maple syrup and or like pancake syrup and some blueberries on top and here i have butterbeer and i know butterbeer is um like from harry potter please don't murder me or kill me because i don't read harry potter i've seen the movies i've read a couple of books when i was in high school but not you know okay i'm not even i'm not gonna dig my own grave so anyway this one butterbeer i was drawn to the notes this one has very sweet like caramel dulce de leche it has a lot of very sweet thick notes but when i sprayed this this is still very light like in terms of the scent profile I do get a very prominent like butterscotch kind of scent so it's just like those caramel candy so it's yeah I, this is also one of my newer additions because i still haven't used it a lot it's not as sweet as this one banana and vanilla custard flan it's not as sugary sweet as selectable temptation but i imagine this one to be more of like a very creamy caramelly butterscotch these i'm excited to wear more during fall and winter and this one is tartness of vanilla again one of their original blends and i was drawn to the notes like i really loved caramel delight you know the lira impression that i wanted to get another citrusy vanilla fragrance this one is very strong on the citrus that it's almost like cleaner kind of citrus if you guys know how the citrus is for example in shalimar edt that's the same ish kind of citrus here this one was also very sharp when i first got it when i first sprayed it it's nice it's very straight to the point a very citrusy vanilla kind of scent so this is tartness of vanilla and here i have dirty banana when i saw this fragrance when i saw this from their website this one also had like amazing reviews um and in, in their website this basically just smells like a very creamy banana fragrance. So like banana candy, like how you guys have your banana Laffy Taffy. So like I love banana and there are different kinds of bananas, especially back home in my home country in the Philippines, different kinds of bananas and they can have different scents. So this one, you guys, my Filipino friends, this one smells like that very ripe green banana that green long gigantic bananas that we usually use for banana cake or banana bread this is how this one smells like this is beautiful like for me i love banana scents and i love fruity scents and i love like literal gourmand scents if you want to smell like a walking tub of popcorn or if you want to smell like a walking ice cream cone you, you know those are the kind of fragrances that i love this one literally smells like banana candy or banana ice cream if you're looking for that very candied banana scent i highly suggest that you guys try this one so this is dirty banana and the last one here is mango lassi so this is i think a drink that's very common in southeast asia and in india if i'm not mistaken so mango and some yogurt and some other ingredients so i was really excited with this one when i saw it because you guys know my um, love and hate relationship with mango skin from wilhelm perfumery by the way um if you guys haven't seen my wilhelm perfumery like 
review like house review or a review of some fragrances i'm gonna link it down below and i was very disappointed with this one very very disappointed because i expected this one to be a mango puree mango nectar kind of scent. um it was my fault because I expected something else. People describe this one to be a very sweet mango, and but I guess I was just imagining a different kind of mango scent. I like this right now. So it's I got the mango. Like eventually I got the mango. It's yes, it's a very sweet, ripe yellow mango not really as sweet as I would say like Filipino mangoes, but yeah, I get it. Yeah. Anyway, we're talking about this one. I got this expecting this to be like a mango puree or mango nectar so mango puree or mango nectar that's like very ripe sweet mangoes and then you put tons of sugar and you make make it into puree because i saw like the mango shake in the bottle but this one is basically i think it wasn't really intentional that they tried to dupe mango skin but when i sprayed this one i immediately thought of mango skin i got mango right away in this one but as this one dried down when i first sprayed it i immediately thought of mango skin that i had to spray both of them side by side very very similar so if you love how mango is in mango skin and the whole scent profile of mango skin because this one is really expensive. I also want to get like a 20 ml bottle from the house. I suggest you guys try this one, Mango Lassie. I know they also have um, Mango Flesh. I'm going to get that next time. So I'm going to compare um, that kind of mango with this kind of mango. But I heard from other reviewers that this is the smoother kind of mango scent. So this one, yes, it's a bright mango. It's yellow. It's orangey yellow. It's sweet and all of that. But it still has some green qualities to it. So it's not really a very, very sweet mango. And I know there are other notes aside from mango in here. I think this one has amber and other notes as well some green notes I think. they're not really like super similar because the, as i said this one has other notes mango skin has other notes but in terms of you know how it is how they dry down on my skin they are very very similar then this one is citrus explosion another beautiful fragrance i really wanted to get a full bottle of this one but i still have quite a number of like green citrusy fragrances that I still have to explore and use in, in my collection. So I'll, I'm just going to keep this one for a while. So this one is more of like mint and green citruses. So it's not really a very yellow orange kind of citrus scent. So it's more of like a green aromatic kind of scent. Like scent wise reminded me of mint and tonic, the, a newer addition to my collection as well from Atkinson's. But yeah, this is very, very citrus forward. This one is Sour Apple Candy, and I posted about this on Instagram. I actually planned on getting a full bottle of this, but I already have like my Holy Grail apple scent, which is La Danza de la Balul from Nobile 1942. And that was the only reason why I didn't get a full bottle of this. But this one has a different try down. I sprayed this on my skin and I said, okay, it's a very nice tart, sour green apple, like sour apple candy. But in the try down, it's more focused on musks and pear i really wanted to get a full bottle but of course you know i'm very realistic i have my budget so i'm gonna be adding this one in my next dua haul and then here this one is leche de rose leche de rose which is milky rose or milk and roses or something this one is really beautiful too. This one literally smells like a milk bath with tons of rose petals, pink rose petals. It's so beautiful. I really wanted to get a full bottle too, but I actually expected this one to be more of like a milky, like a rose ice cream. Is there such a thing as rose ice cream? I think there's such a thing as rose ice cream. So I was expecting this one to smell like that, but you know, it didn't smell like that, but it's still really beautiful. It reminded me of some aspects of musky rose from Theodoro Skeletinus. This one is a beautiful musky rose fragrance, musky rose. Um, it reminded me a little bit of musky rose combined with some rose like in incense water from sauna jordan so this is more rose oil rose water so combining both of them and add some milkiness to it that would be leche de rose so i think i will be getting leche de rose really soon in my next haul but right now i'm just enjoying the sample this is very very potent this is very strong lasts super long and it projects like a couple of sprays is enough so this one is Thai Iced Tea. This was also another fragrance that I wanted to get together with Mango Lassie. This one is very, very spicy. I will be trying this one 
in the Philippines. So see how it is. But here right now, summertime in Iceland, this is very strong. Um, it's more centered on tons of spices. Um, I can imagine Thai iced tea to be more of like a bitter-ish black tea with a little bit of milk and some sweetness. I do get that in the middle and it dry down deep, dry down the scent. But the entrance is too spicy for me like right now. But I think I will really enjoy this one during fall and winter. Even though I imagine this one to be more of like a spring summer kind of scent but i will let the sample sit wear this sample this back home in the philippines and see if i want to add a full bottle of it so that is it for today's video you guys i just wanted to talk about my entire dua collection i originally wanted to do like a separate dua haul and then do a separate video about you know comparing the dua impressions to the original but i just decided to do an all-in-one video so the newer additions to my dua collection that i just added are Delectable Temptation, Mango Lassie, Dirty Banana, and also Butterbeer. I will be focusing more on their original blends because I really love them. I could try some impressions and some hybrids, but it's a bit difficult to talk about that in my video, especially if I haven't really tried the real thing or like the inspiration of the fragrance. So um, just like with Cherry Casino, I know the BR540 DNA, but I don't know the Lost Cherry DNA. So, you know, it's a bit difficult to talk about, you know, fragrances like that. So to end this video, I just want to thank you guys once again for watching today's content. It's a longer video. Thank you for sticking with me. And um, yeah, this is my entire Dua collection. I only have 11 for now, but I have a strong feeling that I will be expanding my Dua collection. Only buy the Dua fragrances when they have the 30% off, like $150 if you purchase for more than $150 and you get 30% off. So I only purchase during the sales so if you visit their website regularly and if you allow notifications if they have their sales like i do then you can get your most favorite fragrances from them so that is it much love stay safe and see you in my next videos